Hello, hi, how are you? Can you all see me? Can you all hear me? Am I audible? Am I visible to you? Hello, hi. Hello dear students, am I audible? Am I visible to you? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Okay. Hi. Hello. How are you? How was the exam? Feeling relieved? Feeling better? Okay, whatever the exam was, you know, the good part is that it's over and we are done with it now we are not supposed to study but you are still sitting on youtube i don't know why okay fine your choice so if you are waiting for me to tell the answers i think i have already shared the answers and the questions on insta facebook whatsapp telegram everywhere but still uh, since you were busy attending the obgy session so you were not probably might not have seen the psychiatric questions uh, so only four questions as per the recall I have received the four questions of psychiatry and uh, I think they were from the predictable areas nothing odd man out may I discuss the questions that came may I discuss may we start so this is neat PG 2023 recall session psychiatry if you people feel like I should add up, edit anything, please comment so that I can change the language. This is as per the recall I have received on my personal uh, WhatsApp inbox and uh, WhatsApp groups and Telegram. A middle-aged woman, the age doesn't matter here much, present with sudden onset breathlessness, palpitation, tremor, sweating. Fear of having a cardiac arrest. The impending doom was not characteristically given. So fear of having a cardiac arrest means something great is about to happen. Increase heart rate. Five to six episodes per month. No triggers for such episode. I don't know why students got confused with GAD here. GAD is more of a continuous anxiety, not a sudden anxiety. GAD is generalized anxiety disorder. GAD. GAD is generalized anxiety. Generalized anxiety, you just got confused because it was six months. Okay, first tell me anything to be added in the question language? Anything to be added in the question language? okay nothing to be added okay are these four choices okay are these four choices okay GAD panic seizure disorder depression impending cardiac arrest yes we are of having a cardiac arrest uh, because some students were saying impending doom was given some students were saying impending cardiac arrest same thing doom was given or not are the choices correct all right so let's discuss the same question with the same four choices i am happy that i was able to do the correct recall the correct answer is panic disorder gad is incorrect Of course, this is not seizure, this is not depression. Now, panic. Acute anxiety. This is chronic anxiety. This is continuous. This is episodic. Okay, exacerbations. 
like this and this is like this okay six month history is there in GAD GAD requires six month for diagnosis panic also required one month for diagnosis and six month means one month also included only six month made you confused the total duration of illness okay fine if you have a panic disorder for one year does it become GAD if you have a panic disorder for one year does it become GAD is it only the duration that makes them differentiated is it only the duration not the symptom pattern okay please understand GAD is not fear of having a cardiac arrest acute exacerbation acute exacerbation it is panic beyond doubt beyond doubt have you attended DVT session was there a session on keywords what should be the keyword for this what should be the keyword feeling of impending doom if you miss this question it's not a mistake it's a silly mistake which is going to cost you done clear any doubts next question some student was saying in this question patient was started on haloperidol some student was saying patient was started on thioridazine but some student was saying it was both haloperidol and thioridazine given in the question what was there in the question haloperidol or thioridazine or both were given in the question both were given all right both were given is the question correct patient was schizophrenia was not responding to medicine and was given another drug developed hyperglycemia dyslipidemia excessive salivation is the question correct is the question correct diagnosed case of schizophrenia okay weight gain to be added are the options correct weight gain was given or not given because students didn't send me the weight gain part which you are telling me not given okay most of the students are saying weight gain was not given doesn't matter hyperglycemia dyslipidemia excessive salivation hyper salivation siloria it is a side effect of clozapine clozapine is a VIP drug did I say this sometime clozapine is a VIP drug did I say that sometime clozapine hyperglycemia dyslipidemia excessive salivation maximum metabolic syndrome maximum weight gain 
Yes, the answer is closer P. All four choices correct. Sandeep Kumar is saying schizophrenia diagnosis was not given. It doesn't matter even if they have given psychosis, even if they have given psychotic depression, it doesn't matter. Was the diagnosis given? It will not change the answer although. Do you think it will change the answer? Do you think it will change the answer? Okay, thank you so much Sandeep Kumar. I think I will still appreciate that you are telling me this. Done. Can we move on to the next question? Clinical history suggestive of premature ejaculation with a history of relationship conflict involving fights with the wife. Did you even read this fight with the wife? I thought you were knowing premature ejaculation, squeeze therapy. Did you notice squeeze therapy was a PYQ? Did you notice panic was a PYQ? So if you have only done PYQ, you could have marked two out of four questions in psychiatry correctly. Last one week, we have been telling students do PYQ, do PYQ, do PYQ. This fights was given fights, fights with the wife. Some students said, sir, fight was given. Will that change the answer? Was fights given fights involving fight with the wife? Do you think this will change the answer? Fight given, but it will not change the answer. Obviously, you are not going to do CBT and ERP. Sensate focus is a, a technique used in uh, this, but the best technique is squeeze therapy. Straightforward given. Okay, relationship conflicts with wife. Okay, I'll change the question. History of relationship conflict with the wife. Are the options correctly recalled here? Are the options correctly recalled here? This question, the fourth option recalled recently sent to me by student is D. Clarem Bott syndrome. The student said that there were four question, uh, two questions on Wernicke's. There were two questions on Wernicke. One was the direct triad, acute onset confusion, six nerve palsy, ataxia. Any other thing that was mentioned in this question? Global confusion, ophthalmoplegia, ataxia. Every student knows the triad of Wernicke's. Global confusion only, ophthalmoplegia, ataxia. The other question was a chronic alcoholic, mammillary body and vitamin deficiency was asked. In this question, any editing suggested by you? Nystagmus, okay. Horizontal nystagmus was mentioned. Nystagmus was mentioned. Answer is one case. So all the four questions were very, very, very much doable, easy. I think I don't know about other subject, but for psychiatry in the last four needs, today's was the easiest of all. Did I miss any question? 
even for couple uh, it is squeeze therapy only squeeze therapy is a type of dual sex therapy in which patient and partner both are involved write your score in comment did you get 4 on 4 did you get 4 on 4 happy All right. What was the question on Parkinson? Lewy body. What did you say? What was the question on Parkinson? Was it a psychiatric question? Lewy body dementia? What was the question? Yes, some student has sent me that question. What was the question? Kindly recall it. Visual hallucination mentioned resting tremor, loss of daily activity, Parkinson, Brian. Okay, I think sudden onset visual hallucination should be more toward Lewy body, LBD, resting tremor, rigidity, CNS medicine question. Okay, I think. Uh, Dr. Achin might be covering but uh, since you people are answering it, it should be Lewy body dementia only as you are answering it very nicely, very correctly. Sight of lesion was asked. Okay. Okay, I'll uh, recall it properly and uh, share it with you if I get. Okay. Do your body was not in the option. Okay. So it was some Parkinson plus related question. Okay, maybe it's medicine question, then Dr. Achin might be discussing it. If somebody has the question, please inbox me. All right. So here we close this session. This is all about psychiatric question discussion. Okay. Hope it helped you. If you have any questions, comments, you can always inbox me. Thank you very much. All the best for your results. Bye-bye. Take care.